Hi, this is Jacob with Old Delhi Music. I'm going to demonstrate here uh, how to correct a buzzing reed on a harmonium. Uh, in this case, it's a Baba Studio Teak harmonium um, that is in the first stages of preparations here. It's been through a tuning process in India uh, and setup process there, but not yet uh, in our shop here in the U.S. Um, it's a, a Delhi style harmonium um, in the in a similar style to many Delhi style harmoniums. Um, so the steps you can that I'll take here will be um, similar to those to take on, on many other harmoniums that are of a similar uh, design. First thing I'm gonna do is, well, I'll demonstrate the buzzing read for you here. Um, so the first step actually is to find out um, which reed is buzzing. Every key on a Delhi style harmonium typically um, controls two reeds, a lower pitched one, uh, or sorry, a higher pitched one, and a lower pitched one, or an octave apart. And when both reed banks are open and air is flowing through, you're hearing both reeds at once. So on, on this note down here, we're hearing the buzzing reed. The first stop to the left on this harmonium and on most is going to be the the male reeds or the higher pitched reeds. That reed sounds fine. Now I'm going to open uh, the bass reeds only and those are the lower pitched reeds typically um, that will be uh, controlled by the third knob from the left um, among others in this in this array of stops. And so there's our there's our buzzing reed. So the buzzing reed on this harmonium is the low D flat. I'm going to remove the uh, the jolly or the screen piece that goes there. And on this harmonium and and on many of this style, uh, the screws that I'm going to remove first um, will be. Uh, here, uh, which are um, fixing these pieces to the reed board, and that will let me take off this whole assembly that um, that goes on top of the keyboard. If you need to remove these pieces in independently, um, you can remove these screws and then remove these side pieces. That will be uh, required on some harmonies, but not on this one. Um, the next step will be to remove this front panel here. I typically leave the screws in the in the pieces that they go with um, when I set them aside. It helps to keep track of them easily. So now we have access to the um, to the reed board um, and to the to the interior of the of the reed board and the, and the sound box inside the harmonium so I'm gonna open these two screws here in back they're what keep the reed board down in place and, and create a tight air seal and this is important whenever working on a harmonium um, you know, some the the temptation is just to let this flop open. Um, it actually is not good for the harmonium to do that. Typically, that means that the keys will end up um, it'll end up resting on the stops down here um, and placing pressure on the keys, and we don't want to do that. So always rest it against your chest when you're when you're working on it. So now you can see the interior of the harmonium here. We have um, along the bottom, the larger set of reeds, which are the bass reeds. Along the top, the smaller set of reeds, which are the male reeds. And um, they're an octave apart. So the low C controls these two reeds here. The low C 
in the bass reeds and the higher one in the male reeds and on up the keyboard, each key controlling one reed in the bass and one reed in the male reed banks. So this buzzing reed is our low D flat, which is the second note from the left, um, uh, starting at the left of the keyboard, which makes it easy in our case, um, because here's our low C and here's our low D flat on in the bass reeds. And we already determined that it's the, the bass reed here that's buzzing. Um, if you have a reed that's higher up, you can count in. But also on, on deli style harmoniums like this one, you can typically rely on the um, on the note names that are printed, uh, imprinted, I should say, on the ends of the reeds. Um, and I, can't, I, can, I can show you once I remove this reed. And that is going to be my first step here. I'm going to show you what it sounds like. Uh, and we use, we use this tool. It's just a thin metal implement. You can use um, you know, a knife or, or a guitar pick or, or any thin um, implement to, to get under the, under the reed. And I'm just going to flick the tongue of the reed gently, and I, and get, and I can show you this um, closer up once I remove it. And that's what a reed that's buzzing is typically going to sound like. That's what a reed uh, should sound like if it's if, if it's going to be sounding freely when you pluck it is is kind of a twang rather than that that metallic rattly sound that you'll hear with a buzzing reed. So what I'm going to do now is remove this reed, and the reeds are affixed with a little bit of glue to the reed board. And tiny shifts in the wood create a little bit of tension on the metal, causing it to shift slightly, and that's what causes the, the reed to, to come out of shape and, and to buzz. Uh, on, the, on each reed here, you'll see that there's a screw that goes into a hole uh, by the end of the reed that, that rings freely, and there's a screw that goes into a notch in the reed that's at the other end of the reed. I'm just going to loosen the screw that goes into the notch. You can you can remove it if you need to. And remember, I'm I'm resting this reed board against my chest. I am not placing pressure on it, letting it swing freely because that is placing pressure on parts of the harmonium that can be damaged by that. So resting it against my chest. It should be a good height if you have it on a, a workbench or a table or something of a similar height. So I've just loosened that screw that goes into the notch at, the, at this end of the reed and I've removed the one that goes into the hole down here and it's not gonna it's not gonna come off um, just with those screws removed I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver and I'm going to gently near this free end of the reed where I've removed that screw I'm just gonna twist against the, the reeds next to it. And I don't want to do this in the middle of the reed, like here, because the reason that this reed is buzzing is because this reed housing has become slightly misshapen already. And so, now I'm gonna show you this, show you this reed here. Uh, you can see uh, where the, the reed is, is very tight in the, in the reed housing, and that's necessary for it to vibrate in order to create that sound. Um, and that's why, that's why we encounter this issue of buzzing reeds, is because it has to be very close on every side to the assembly. And it's a soft reed, it's, or a soft metal, it's, it's brass, and so these slight shifts can cause it to, um, can cause it to just become ever so slightly misshapen and cause this reed rather than vibrating freely to make contact with the metal on one side when it's vibrating as air passes through it. And I'll demonstrate how, uh, how malleable that metal is by just holding it in the middle. I'm not even squeezing, but I'm going to hold it in the middle. 
versus holding it at the end right here. Actually, this is something I'll have to demonstrate after I correct the, uh, the read. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to test whether this uh, removing the reed has, has corrected the buzz, we can flick it again as I, as I was when, uh, when it was in the housing. Larger reeds are, are a little more, um, are a little tougher than the smaller ones. For the smaller ones, you definitely wanna be very careful. And even for the larger ones, don't, don't flick it very hard because uh, you don't wanna weaken the metal here. This, that will affect the tuning of the reed. So I'm still hearing that metallic sound. I'm actually just gonna look and see around here where the reed appears to be making contact. And what you can do is hold it up to the light and look through it this way. And I can see that it's it's closer, the reed is closer along this edge right here to the reed housing. So I'm gonna take this, um, this tool that we use for manipulating the reeds and I'm just going to nudge this reed away from that side of the reed housing a little bit. Improved it a bit, but didn't quite do it. I'm just going to nudge it a little bit more. And now it's, now it's sounding freely, as you can hear. Again, to, to demonstrate just how malleable this metal is, if I hold it in the middle, and I'm not, I'm not squeezing it, I'm just holding it in the middle, the reed makes a dead sound, because I've actually, even just by holding it here, I'm, I'm contracting this, this metal against the reed. But if I hold it at the end here, the reed is vibrating freely. So now that I've done that, I can put it back in place. And as I said, there's a notch at one end of the reed here. You don't have to remove that screw. We can. We, I've just loosened it a little bit. And again, the reminder, always rest this reed board against your chest and, and don't let it swing open freely. When I'm putting pressure here, I'm putting it against my body and not against the harmonium uh, just, just itself. So I'm, I'm slotting that reed back up and under the screw that's that's along here making sure it's fully in place here we go and replacing uh, the screw that I actually removed assuming I can find it slotting that back into place. And just a note that if you're dealing with the male reeds, the free end of the reed is up at the top rather than down at the bottom. And so the screw that you'll remove is up here at the top. And the screw that you just loosen, which goes into the notch at the other end of the reed, uh, the base end of the reed is, is along this end. So they go out in opposite directions here. Uh, take care when replacing this screw and when tightening both screws um, not to over tighten them because this is soft wood and it's easy to strip out that screw hole. So just make sure that the screws are snug. And then I'm going to try and you know, just make sure that that reed is still, yep, still sounding freely there. And I can test it before uh, before closing everything back up, um, just with the reed board resting. It's not fully airtight, but I can at least test it. So I've got my, my base stop open here. And sure enough, that note sounds, sounds fine now. The buzz is gone. So 
First thing is to tighten these screws up. I'm using a drill, but of course a screwdriver will do. And actually this is, it's good to use a screwdriver just for those last couple of twists because over tightening these is one thing that can, can cause a little stress to the reed board and cause buzzing reeds to occur. So I'm just gonna tighten just so they're snug and so there's an airtight seal, uh, not enough so that the reed board is, is becoming cramped or is becoming misshapen, even slightly. When putting this piece back into place, um, also be sure that the screws are going back into the holes uh, that they came out of. Again, because this is soft wood, and if you start, if you start screwing this into place, um, it's pretty easy to just create a new hole, and this this assembly will then be in slightly wrong position, um, and you'll have created uh, a problem. that you'll then need to correct. So just make sure that those screws are going into the into the holes that they came out of before you tighten them down. And again, they don't have to be wicked tight. You want to be careful not to strip out those holes. Same here um, with this piece. Make sure that the screws are going into the holes that they came out of. And they should not be overly tight. Just snug enough. And replace the jolly piece. There's another buzzing reed that I'll have to fix that has just popped up. Yeah, there's a couple more buzzing reeds there, and that's one of the one of the main things that we do when we, we go over uh, every read multiple times um, while we're doing our setup and tuning processes uh, for the voicing of the read, the gapping of the read, um, and, and to ensure that it doesn't buzz, we actually use um, a flat file when needed to not only um, uh, to not only tune the read but to file the read housing where needed um, to make sure that the read is not going to buzz. Despite that, especially uh, when, when a harmonium is in a new climate or when seasonal changes occur, um, the reed board can shift slightly and reeds do develop buzzes. But as you've seen here, they're typically um, resolved without too much effort. And um, if, if these steps don't work, um, you, can, you can get in touch with us uh, at olddelimusic at gmail.com or give us a call. Um, and we can guide you through other options or, if necessary, send you a new read. So, thanks for watching, and uh, find us at olddelimusic.com.